just the radio Me just for a little, little, little bit, <laughs> you'll know that I have been reacting to some Stan Walker. So, um, I was advised about uh, this, this, this enigma, this amazing person called Stan Walker, um, following um, his cover of Kanye West's or Yay, Yay, Z, um, his song Ultra Light Beam. But I'd also never heard either. So I didn't know the song. I didn't know the um, the singer. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Then I eventually got to it. And I was like, nah, 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 hang on, dog. Who's this geezer? <laughs> Who is this geezer, dog? Um, and then since then, I've kind of fallen into a whole little rabbit hole of, like, just Stan walking this. So um, obviously he's, like, an uh, Australian. And I keep saying this, apparently. So... The Australian Idol. I can't believe. Like, so in my comments, I've got um, one of my subscribers is like, oh, bro, like, keep saying American Idol. And I'm like, huh? Okay, I'll make sure I don't in the next one. Next one, exact same thing. Sam Walker won American Idol. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. Um, so I was like, I'll make sure I write it in. I wrote it in. He's like, bro, part three, you said it again. I'm like, I did it. <laughs> And I listen back to it. And I'm like, no, but you, but I did not. So, Australian Idol, <laughs> um, and so I've done part one, part two, part three, and this is part four. Um, and it's been really awesome to kind of go back and just listen to like where he started from and what kind of journey he went on to be where he is now. And can I just point out as well? I've just reacted to um, Stan Walker singing Halo. <sighs> He responded to the video, guys, 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 he knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, how sick is that? Like, it's so amazing. Like, I did, it, there's been a few, um, and I remember each one, there's been a, a few people that I've reacted to that have seen my reaction, um, and I'm just like, wow, it is, it's such, it's such a, an awesome feeling because nine times out of ten, I've enjoyed their performance or something. So it's never that awkward thing where I've been like, I hate this. <laughs> it's, it's usually where I've actually enjoyed something. And to know that they've then seen my appreciation of their art, it's just phenomenal. Like, so, um, so just in case again, Stan, you ever come across this video, like, I love you. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is part four. And uh, I think it's starting with Superstar. Um, and the only superstar I can think of is Lauren Hill. Come on, baby, light my fire. Everything you drive is so tired. Music is supposed to inspire. Yes. So how do we ain't getting no higher? Um, that's not what I can think of. There might be many more <laughs> and it's, it's quite in fact before i do anything else um yeah so this is super sorry starting with so what i usually do is um before the judges have their little 
<laughs> I tend to pause it so I can give my thoughts first. And then just see if we aligned. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to be influenced by what they're saying. Uh, so let's waste no time. Oh, I also feel really bad because I got to see who he was up against. I didn't really... Really Not really my cup of tea, but just to show right that, her, you know, respect to her. With a, with a dream. It's low, we're just ordinary people. Oh, she fancies that as well. You're 18, you are just going to get better and better and better. And I thought you were unreal. Oh. I loved your vibe. It's important to be a dreamer. It's something that you love. It's good to have something quiet. Maybe the song I just didn't vibe with. I didn't, I didn't really like the song. Maybe that's the reason why. Be who you are. Be a part of something greater than yourself. Welcome to Australia I love her. I do doing? She thinks she's great. Hayley. Just the opportunity to become a, a great artist. I look forward to seeing her because I'll well. bet you I'll come back here and I bet you she'll have a record on the charts. This is a man's world. Stan's Whoa. voice is absolutely is ridiculous. He's the strongest voice that I've personally heard in any of the idol competitions from America or Britain or here that I've heard. America or yeah, um, <laughs> Boy, is the real deal. choice that we've got left. We've got Australia's heart and soul man and possibly the coolest 17 year old in the southern hemisphere. And the reason why uh, Australian Idol is great TV is because of the stories that it tells. It's about creating artists, and music and culture. Seven years giving Australian talent a platform to shine. Just who will follow their path this year? I wonder if women must do that. Is it Haley or Stan? Who will become Stan, your Stan, Australian Stan. idol for 2009? I feel like I was definitely like a little bit like harsh in my last comments to about. Oh, hang on! Whoa, 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 whoa. What has happened here? Because. That didn't play. I'm gonna look for Superstar because um, that's played in completely the wrong order. So Stan Walker. Right, okay, we've got this. Let's go straight in. Said you'll be coming back 
dogs, the handguns, the handguns, they did that the same night. I'm really sorry that I didn't realise that Superstar was part of that. Kristen, you may have told me that. You, may, you said there's another song, and I'm just going off the top of my head of what you said in, in the message, but you did definitely say there's another song um, that isn't in the list or something, which I think is probably that one, maybe. Um, that was absolutely, like, I mean, there's no judges' comments anyway, but I don't think I need any. I mean, I really know. Michael Bublé loves you, um, as does uh, the lady, I can't remember her name. They all love you. Dude, yeah, like, this, I mean, I didn't even remember, I didn't even remember this song was called Superstar. Do you remember, do you love me, babe? Like, this is such a tune, like, and whenever I hear this, it, 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 it immediately makes me think of, like, and this is no disrespect to, like, newer singers or anything like that, but it makes me think about like the legends, your Luthers, your Whitney's, your Patties, your Mariah's, like, you know, people that have been singing, sang, 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 sang for like time. Do you know what I mean? And I don't even know, I mean, there are some new age singers that I absolutely love, but this is, it's so steeped in like a, um, I don't know, like just like just like a like a longevity ness when it comes to someone singing this song that like it just seems grown to me. I, I don't even know who sings this song originally. Who sings this song originally? Superstar. Don't you remember you told me I love the Superstar. Oh, the thing is, there could be so many superstars out there. because uh, you've got it is it is it Luther Vandross? If it is Luther Vandross. Don't you remember you told me it is Luther Vandross? It is, it is, it is. I don't know if it was him originally. Um, it's the superstar Luther Vandross who wrote, who wrote it. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? To and Unrequited Love. Ah. Oh. So Luther Vandross did write this and he wrote it, allegedly, according to this website, um, due to Unrequited Love. I need to do, like, a deep dive into Luther Vandross, you know, because I swear to everything I hold dear. Like, there are so many Luther Vandross songs, I'm just like, wow. And then I attempt to sing them and I'm just like, sit down, Luke. <laughs> um, but yeah, Stan, I just think, you know, that that... A lot of people always talk about Luther and having that velvety tone to his voice. And I feel like when it comes to Stan, he has a very similar, like you could you could say something very similar to him, that his tone that just wraps around the lyrics are just, and then what he does with the runs, like he didn't sing this in that same way as Luther did at all. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, you know, it, it, he sang the song as the song is like written, but there was definitely some runs and things that he did differently, which you can tell by my face as, as you know, what's happening as, as he's singing it. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. And I'm really sorry that I didn't realise that that was part of um, the one that I did last time. Because I would have just done that one otherwise. Um, but that's okay. We're here now. That's fine. So the next one, go back to the list. Right, okay. So this is, what, this is what's coming. So we've got the grand opener. We've done something now. We've got grand final, Michael Bublé, Stan and Hayley feeling good together. Um, the top 12 guys take back this city. Stan Walker, it's a man's world. Um, Sam Walker wins, um, and then that box live. Okay, all right then. So let's start. Don't stop me now. We're having such a good time. We're having a ball. Don't stop me. I'm guessing it's that. It's Queen in it. That is. <laughs> Don't stop me, don't stop me. 
Why some people in bed? have been waiting in 40 degree heat for this. We have the most incredible show lined up for you, but tonight is all about these two people. In two hours, one of these people is going to be the winner. Is it going to be Stan? Is it going to be Hayley? Very close. We have some amazing guests to help us celebrate this evening. Performing tonight, Mika, Michael Bublé, Guy Sebastian, Wes Carney and Moss, Ricky Lee Coulter's brand new single. How are you feeling about this? Hayley? Feeling good, feeling good. I hardly knew it was you, Stan. Oh, you, you have a lot of friends and family here. What's this feel like, mate? Oh, this is so wicked, man. All my family come from New Zealand and from everywhere far around me. Oh. It, is, it is an amazing feeling in the air. Australia, you still have an opportunity to affect this evening. However, the voting lines are still open. Until 8.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time. That's just over one hour you have to vote for either Stan or for Haley. Get your votes in. Here's a reminder of the numbers. Anyway. 
Um, so I very much enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to just, yeah. So it's funny because <laughs> when it, when it first came on and obviously it's, it's some time ago now, isn't it? Like, so when it first came on, I was like, this seemed a little chaotic, like a little chaotic. Um, like, and, and, and but, at the same point, I remember what these shows are like when you're watching like the finale of the so grandiose and like so much going on, and you got to think this is outside as well. So you got all the outside to contend with. Um, you know, what if it rained? What we're gonna what we're gonna do if it rained? That's 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 mad. Um, so it's interesting that like they've all come out and uh, like they do out of the top twelve and stuff. Um, and there were some really like some voices that the, the kind of the ones that stood out for me the most are. Um, the the lady with the short kind of pixie blonde hair, with the pixie cut. Um, you had um the dude that was singing um before the don't slap me, don't slap me, don't slap me. Hey, hey, the one the guy that was singing just before that, he was at the front and he was doing some high notes and stuff. I'm like, okay, sustaining some uh, uh sustaining some notes there. Um. I did think like who are these geezers at the front like with the with the with the mop hair that's just in the face like who is this and then for them to come out like that like you can almost feel the energy like and this is fourteen years ago like so you know they've, they've done a good job of like creating that buzz and that feeling and even if yeah like because when I say it was chaotic I mean like a little bit a little bit cheesy <laughs> but even with that though there's so much like joy that comes with that and we're in a we're in a world right now where there's a lot of things that ain't all cheesy, do you know what I mean? Like, so actually it's nice to kind of just be like, ah, people just having a good time, man. And people enjoying that and throwing all that energy and positiveness, positivity, positiveness, positivity into the air. Um, and then, I, I don't know what it is, yeah, but I'm, I just feel very, which I have done from the beginning, just feel very connected to Stan and his family, like, and, you know, him seeing them in the audience and stuff. Cause all, I keep, all I keep thinking is, like, and I think maybe my connection in terms of Stan, more so than probably Hayley, is A, I've seen more of him, but his style of singing, the songs he's chosen, and um, how he sings them, I just think it's more in line to the kind of things that I love and that I enjoy. And I just keep thinking if that was me on that stage and seeing my friends and my family who flown in, flown in from a different country, yeah, like, to come and support me on one of the most nerve-wracking nights of my life at 18. I don't know whether I'll be keeping it together very well. So, you know, him getting emotional there, he's just like, oh, mate, like, I just rate it. I just rate it so much. So if this is how things are going to start, mate, <laughs> I'm much sure I got my tissue, really. All right, okay, so that was the opening. So the next one, this one, is Michael Bublé. And Hayley uh, and Stan feeling good. So it'll be interesting because her tone and her style, from what I've seen so far, is quite indie rocky. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how that feeds into this song and how that goes. Um, okay. It's the Australian Old Grand Final for 2009. This is a this is a Hayley fan. Is there a is there a Stan fan here? <laughs> Last week, he was amazing and so gracious when he mentored and guided our idols through the path to the Sydney Opera House. Tonight, we are so happy he's going to join them on stage with Stan and Hayley singing Feeling Good. Would you please welcome Michael Bublé. Birds flying high. You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze directing on by You know how I feel Well, it's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life and I'm feeling good. I've not really watched this in my computer right now. This is actually quite awesome. Yes, 
Pushing the sea You know how I feel We're running free You know how I feel Blossom on the tree You know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life For the show, singing with these two. Totally. I can't, you guys are beautiful out there. We can't hear anything. <laughs> We're so happy you could be here tonight, Michael. I know, uh, I, know you've had a, I know you've had a week off. We're so stoked that you could come back and be here this evening with us tonight. And you are coming back later in the show for something special, but uh, we can't say what it is just yet. Not yet. Not just yet. You still have a chance to vote for Stan or Haley, Australia. 48 minutes left to change the lives of one of these two Australians. So that was, um, that was, that was, that was, that was something. And you know what? I think what's really interesting is, um, again, because I've not really watched much Michael Bublé, so I don't really, like, I know he's sick and I, I've done, I don't, I mean, I must have at some point, he must have been on some, like, X Factory type of show in the UK. But I didn't realise that he was that like, you know, with the moves and the legs and the I didn't I didn't I didn't know. So he's, he's definitely a good showman. Um and his tone is it seems quite like that kind of like Frank Sinatra-y kind of rat packy type of stuff. It's called the rat pack, right? It's called the rat pack. I'm sure I reacted to some Frank Sinatra and, and it's called the rat pack. Um so yeah, I liked how they kind of did that. I like how they kind of brought um 
Stanning then brought Hayley in. I think the most surprising thing for me really is that because I didn't, I don't, maybe I'm, I'm thinking more now, having seen her more and seeing how close it was in terms of like the amount of support that she had. I think it's just that song. I don't think I liked that song that I reacted to. Um, and and maybe for me, it didn't really showcase like her voice very well. But on something like this, which I think is maybe a song that I like, it's good to be able to hear then her voice on the back of it. Um, and she's actually got a really cool voice, like she really does. So um, I take back any slander <laughs> that I left on my last video. Um, Stan again, Stan in the his to it's his tone, bro. It's his tone, his tone, he comes in and it's just like running water for him. These these runs and stuff. His tone, the deep levels. It's just, it's just velvet and rich. And, and again, for me, and I'm sure probably for Michael too. Like you know, I'm watching this and I'm like, if I didn't know any better, like, do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's not shade to Michael people. Like, it's just it's, if anything, it's more credit to, um, to Stan. Just how credible he sounds as an artist already at 18 um so yeah that's incredible i'm very intrigued to know what it was that michael buble is due to come back for so um i'm hoping this will be in here so this is the top 12 boys anyway i think top 10 were the 12 boys wasn't it just top 12 anyway it's the top 12 doing something so let's see what uh, what this is saying take take back this city i think it's called now we heard from the girls yeah. Turn, would you please make welcome your top 12 boys with Snow Patrol? Oh. I know Snow Patrol. Well, obviously not personally.
Your top 12 boys. Well. Stan Walker, Nathan Bray, Casey Barnes, Scott Newnham, Toby Malta, James Johnson, and Tim Johnson. You have just about three minutes left to choose your Australian idol. He nearly was right. So get to it. The voting <laughs> lines will probably close in this ad break. Oh, hey, that's selling yourself. To yourself, to yourself, to yourself. Again, if you watch my other parts, you know how aggressive this playlist is, man. Just, just always wanted to play. Um, again, a song that I didn't really recognise. And I, I, for a second, I thought Snow Patrol were going to be there, but I, I don't really know what they look like. <laughs> and I think the only Snow Patrol song is that song that I know is Light up, light up. If, if you have a choice. Like, that's the only song I know. Um, and I only know it really clearly on Lewis. <laughs> so, maybe I don't know them as well as I think I do. Yeah, a song I didn't know, um, that I wasn't really, like... Oh. But again, it's one of them performances that, like, during the performance of the whole night, they're like, okay, cool. And I guess it's interesting for me because I don't know these guys, so it's interesting kind of hearing them do their own individual bits and stuff. And, it, and it's nice in a way that they also get to play a part in the finale because they've all played a part in making the show. And even though they didn't win, it's nice to see that they've got an opportunity to showcase their talent still. Because they, they go on tour, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they they did that. They, they were, but back when I used to watch it anyway, they'd be like an American Idol tour. Um, and I feel as though the guy that I picked out from the beginning, um, he was kind of singing next to Stan. Like, because obviously they know which ones are like, like, obviously everyone, if they're in the top 12, can sing to a degree, otherwise you wouldn't be in the top 12. But you've got those people that are like, well, I sang it, do you know what I mean? And I think, I feel like he was, he's one of them, the one that was sang, singing with Stan. Um, and then just hearing Stan's ad-libs across the end of that, I'm just like, ah, that's my boy. Um, and yeah, I just thought it was really funny that the, the host was like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. And, um, um, but yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Um, definitely ready to watch the next one. So this is like a man's world, I think it is. I think it's what it's called. So let's have a listen. So much love for you and the crowd tonight, Stan. It must feel great. Oh, man, I'm so blessed. Dave. Thanks, everybody, for coming out here today and supporting and all my family from New Zealand and everybody here and everybody back you know, at home that's voting. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so blessed, man. You, uh, you watched the first grand final we did here. Did you make up your mind right there and then that one day I'm going to stand on that stage? Yeah, I remember watching Guy one and I was just like, man, one day I want to do that. One day I want to do that and far out. <laughs> I'm here. Right. Oh. Well, I guess, I guess it works and that whole put it out there thing. It's been awesome to get to know you. I wish you the best tonight. I wish Hayley the best tonight. Let's have a look at Stan's time with us here on Idol. It's a warm day. And um, we brought up in music, you know, we sing at funerals, we sing at weddings, sing and eat, that's our thing. <laughs> sing and eat. I am a warrior, a survivor, and who I hope. I guess when I sing, it's just, I just have such a peace and, and a serenity that, you know, that nothing else can touch you. Though love sometimes hurts, I still put you first. Every year, my mum and dad wanted me to audition. Oh, audition for it. I was like, nah, you know. But this year, it just had this, it was my time. Like, I knew something was going to happen. I got him. They all said yes. <laughs> You've got a spark. You've got something which is so unbelievably likeable about you. Honey, I know, I know, I know time. Stan understands. It's all about the power of music as a redemptive force. You know, how to get your life back together. As a redemptive force.
hardwire your heart to every song that you sing, and it's effortless, and it's fantastic. Thank God for Stan Walker. His face in that I love that picture. I've learnt so much during Idol. I've learnt more about me, more about the industry, more about people, more about music. The second show. I've really got to work with amazing people and artists. That voice, it's like God kissed your throat. You got soul. I love, I, that. I love that it. Anywhere favorite. you're singing, I'll come watch you sing. I love watching you sing. I'm just continuously in this mindset of I need to be challenged. <laughs> never say no to music, never say no to an idea, but always embrace it. Cheers. No matter how far, couldn't be much more from the heart. The first person who threw with a chance to become this year's Australian Idol is Stan Walker. Oh, was that the other guy? I can't believe it. I, like, I just, it's just, it's like, Mario, this is happening all to me. This is happening to me. Me of all people, of all people in this world, it's happening to me. Can't believe it. I will never give up, and no matter how hard, how hard it gets, I can still do it. That nothing's impossible. I'm here for myself, I'm here to represent my family and I'm here to be an ambassador of a people who have nothing to get something. Music is a way to, to reach people and touch people's heart that can save people's lives, that saved my life. Music is a language that everybody knows how to speak. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. But it won't mean nothing. No, 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 nothing. Without a woman or a girl.
so much for coming out and supporting us. Me and Haley, we thank you so much. Everybody at home, thank you so much, man. Praise God. Stan Walker. Well done, me and Haley. That was great, Stan. Well, that's it, Australia. Judges. JD, what are some words you've got for Stan, mate? I'm breathless. That's just Stan bloody tastic. And Stan, thank you for just inviting me along on this journey. We love you, the country loves you, and you're a star in the making, kid. Keep going, brother. Thank you, bro. Keep going, brother. Marsha? <laughs> Stan, thank you for your spirit, your smile, <laughs> and your incredible talent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marsha. It's been a pleasure. Oh. Thank you. Mate, I love your voice, I love your heart, but the risks you have taken every week, it's made it one of the most thrilling rides ever. Well done, mate. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, this is awesome, man. You think it's awesome now? You wait till the other side of the break. I'm going to play some commercials, and in a moment, Australia, the winner will be announced. Don't go anywhere. I mean, because I guess that could go either way, right? That's just, that's not very, very dangerous thing to say, bro. Like, you think it's like that? You, you could not win and it'd be absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was, um, I think watching his journey back as well. Um, and just seeing like how, how humble and, um, forthright he's been in taking on like all these different weeks and all these different challenges and all these different pieces of advice that have helped him to shape his you know his focus like you know he'd, he'd already want he already had a drive to be there because he was there Do you know what I mean if he didn't have that drive he wouldn't be there um but taking it as seriously as it needed to take it and then being worried about his focus and I never forget that um when they asked him like do you want to be here do you think you can be here? Do you think you can win? And like hearing his response to that, like it makes me emotional now thinking about it because I just, again, without knowing all the ins and outs of whatever he went through and whatever an 18 year old or 17 year old at that time was, was, was having to put his heart out there to explain, you could see with every fibre of his being, you could see how much it meant to him to be there. And he just continued to excel week and week and week and week. Um, and even then when he finished, he was, it wasn't like, thank you for coming out here for me. Thank you for coming out here for me and Hayley. He's a special kind of person, man. He's a special kind of person. And, and that kind of light that stays that way throughout a whole week in, week out competition, like, that's authentic. You can feel that. Like, and then, as I said, I mean, I've had, you know, his team have, um, you know, wished me Merry Christmas and things. And the fact that he has seen my video and, and was like, yo, dude, like, I mean, you know I mean, look how big you are as, as, as a person, like, and you, you found time just to thank little old me. Like, I just think he's just, I just, oh, anyway. Okay, so let's go to the announcements. Um, and then let's go to, I'm guessing the winning single. I mean, yeah, I do want to see, I do want to see. I'm, I'm hoping they don't like block me from seeing this. Okay, we'll see. Hey everybody, it's Harry. Just a message to the final two. I'm so proud of y'all for making it this far down the road. And I wish you all the best of luck in the world. You've come a long way since that first audition and I wish you both the best of luck. Hey, what's up, Haley and Stan? This is Pete Wentz from Fall Boy. I wanted to congratulate you guys on making it to the grand final. It was awesome working with you earlier yeah, in the year, there. and I'm just thrilled to see where you've taken that. Good luck. Oh, I'm hoping for both of you. You're both so talented, and no matter who wins, both of you are gonna go a long, long way. Congratulations on making it to the final two. We, we had a great time working with you guys, and you guys worked hard to get here, so congrats. Keep brothers. up the good work no matter what happens, and we'll be rooting for you. Good luck, guys. Hey, Stan Haley at Food Lake, congratulating both of you on being in the final two. It was a real honor to get to know you, and uh, I'm sure that we'll see you on the charts. Best luck. You know, I, whoever wins, wins, and the other one is just as important. So shake hands and come out fighting.
So this is in Australia. We've come to the end of another season and I've got the results of your votes mm. right here. So let's bring out two fine, amazing young performers. Stan Walker and Hayley Warner. Hand in hand. Here we go, guys. One of you is about to win a recording contract, a management contract, release their debut single, and a $200,000 artist development fund. It has been just such a treat and a privilege to get to know both of you, but only one of you can win. After the can country voted, all this in? Based on your performances. The winner of Australian Idol for 2009 is... I knew that he would. <laughs> Hayley, the country loves you to get oh. you this far. Sorry, tonight wasn't your night, mate. No worries, man. This guy is the man. If I want to choose to anyone, man. it's him. Give it up for Stan! Hayley! Hayley! Stan, you've had, you've had an amazing time with us, haven't you? How's this? What would you like to say? Oh. I just want to thank God, man. Oh, praise God, eh? I want to thank my family for coming and supporting me. This is my family. Um, they came from New Zealand and, and um, and there's that's amazing. That is amazing. There's been so much support for you, Stan. So much support for both of you. This is it, Stan. You're the winner of Australian Idol for 2009. And this, my friend, Stan, this is Stan's new single. You're now, you're now signed to Sony Music, Stan. He can't even take it all in. You're now signed to Sony Music. This is your debut single, the winner of Australian Idol 2009. Singing his debut single, Black Hayley. Box, Stan Walker. Oh, man. What a moment. What a moment.
watching that having started the journey and seeing him get to it and I'm such like honestly having this channel has made me realize I mean I kind of knew I was emotional anyway but like having this channel really highlighted to me just how emotional <laughs> I really am 
because there are so many people that I've never met that I've cried for. <laughs> but I can just, I don't know, man. I just think he's an easy person to to get behind because you've got the talent, yes. But did you hear that? He, he got, can I thank people? Can I thank people? He thanked everyone from the makeup artist, the background vocals, to Erin, I think it was one of the vocal coaches. He thanked um, the crew. He thanked... Um, I did, um, who did he thank? He thanked a lot of people anyway. In that moment, he it wasn't just about him winning and him having his single, but him, you know, even when Hayley was on the stage, like, give it up for Hayley. Thank you both so much. Thank thank you for having our back so much, the both of us. Um, you know, he he's just a really class act. He's a really, really class act. And, and, and the only thing, I, I can only go from, like, my experience, like I said, and, like, having seen that this is, like, 14 years ago, and, like, um, I've then reacted to, obviously, his ultralight beam, but then I reacted to his, um, is it called I'm Alive? Is it called I'm Alive? Um, I'm sure it's called I'm Alive. Or alive, but yeah, we actually did that song and him doing that, doing that live, um, and then like I said, like just him at the blue seeing one of my reactions to him doing Halo and and taking the time every day to comment on that, like that humility, that light there, like when I've seen him in those kind of interviews and stuff, it it, it it's it's obviously not like a show, and I feel like sometimes people expect people like this. I know Alexandra Burke had it a lot when she won X Factor. Well, not when she won, but kind of afterwards, that people were like, oh, you know, she's fake and this and the other. And obviously I don't know these people personally, um, but I think you can you can only exhibit these fake things for a certain amount of time before the cracks start to show. Um, and if after 14 years, you're still like, light beaming after all the things that he's been through which again i haven't even been able to get into yet like and i'm looking forward to watching that documentary and just finding out more about him like i just think he's just an inc like to be that talented and to couple that with being like, what appears to be an incredible human i just think it's just amazing that he won and i'm so happy for him i'm so happy for him but like i said after watching, after my reaction to Hayley the last time in part three, um, I kind of do take it back. I think that like, you know, he rated her and he obviously rated her as his equal. And I think there has to be something said for that, particularly when you've not watched her. I've not watched her. And just from what I've seen today, more so than what I saw on that winning, winner single, um, I think she absolutely deserved to be there. Do you know what I mean? And um, and actually, it's it's almost, again, another credential to him that it was close. Well, I mean, just from what the crowds were saying, I don't know what the actual numbers were, percentages-wise, but just in terms of the crowd, she obviously was a loved person as well. Um, no, I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed it. And um, it was nice to kind of see how we got there. So now I've finished that, uh, and I've finished that journey. I can now fast forward to what's been going on. So I know there's a song, My, Mary, Mary Key or something like that, um, that he's come out with, which has got some like historical context behind it and is uh, meaningful. I know that my patron, Tanya, I'm going off memory now, so forgive me, I've, I've had a few wines, um, but I know it's an important song that he's come out with. I know there's some more performances of that song. Is it called Live? Um, but there's more performances of that song anyway that he's done. So I want to see that, and like I said, I want to see his documentary as well, um, that just obviously details like his life and again what he's been through. So yeah man, there's definitely some more Sam Walker coming, but like if you've watched this journey with me, thank you so much because I've thoroughly enjoyed it and like I said, if I hadn't gone back, I don't think I would have been comfortable. It's the same with, with Fantasia, which I, I mean I've started that and I haven't gone back since, so I need, that's on part one. Um, so I need to go back and do part two, but I think it's so important to to kind of understand someone's journey. Um, it's a bit like, um, not to go off topic, but it's a bit like Beyonce's Cowboy Carter that she's come out with. And, you know, I really, I've reacted to that already, but I now want to go back and I want to kind of go through each track and like all the lyrics and just really embed myself in what was their creative process because it's so important to understand where someone's come from and um, that's led to this song because it just helps you connect even more with the art that you presented with. So thank you, Stan. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much. Um, 
And if you want access to reactions such as these and like full reactions, because I think I'm going to have to do like some kind of transparency thing on YouTube, I think. But um, yeah, if you want to like get access to that and if you want to support the channel as well, because, um, you know, I'm doing this full time. So any support at all that anybody wants to kind of put my way, I'd be so incredibly grateful. <laughs> um, but now, thank you so much genuinely for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs> Thank you.